Now you're live. Are we live? Oh my gosh, <laughs> you're done. You can stop now. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, you need to bend down for them to see you. They can't see you. Hello, is it, is it working? I think it's, I think it's working. <laughs> Welcome everyone. I think YouTube um, live streamings are being a little wonky slush today, so. Grateful you're all here. Sorry we are a tad bit late, but like usual, I'm usually like a couple minutes late anyways. Just have to get everything figured out to set up. Um, but, yes. Just saying, Pat, Pat, it's okay. We forgive you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for forgiving me. <laughs> um, ooh! Well, welcome Kinsley Strawbridge. They said this is their first live. Um, we're playing a game that... We have not played before. I think it came out in 2019. It's a multiplayer co-op game. You can play it on the computer, tablet, um, I think pretty much almost any device, but you will need two separate devices and it has to be a multiplayer game. You cannot play this by yourself. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna see our we're gonna test our communication skills today. <laughs> we'll see how good we are at communicating to each other. I absolutely love multiplayer games. They're actually my favorite kinds of games to play. I just enjoy playing video games with other people. It's One true. of our favorite um, like communicative games is called Keep Talking and No One Explodes. It was like the first one we played together. Yeah, while we were dating. I've also played with like my best friends. Like I've played that game multiple times because it's so much fun. And this kind of gives me the same vibe where I think we're going to have two different computer screens. So we're going to be looking at different things. And we have to, because it's a puzzle game. So we have to talk to each other to work out the puzzle. But I was like watching um, like the trailer of it before. And it looks like it's kind of like an escape, like mystery vibe. So we have to escape. And I don't know if we have to race against a clock or anything, but there's a lot of like a clock thing going on. I really don't know what to expect. It has a little bit of a spooky vibe. Actually, I feel like this would be perfect for like a Halloween game, yeah, you know? Yeah, it would. I'm a little Fall nervous game. about the spooky vibe thing, to be <laughs> honest. Last co-op game I played with a spooky vibe was with my best friend. It was called We Were Here. Mm. And... Yeah, like most of it's fine but the end i don't it wasn't even like that bad like there's no jump scares and stuff but like the end just gave me like the gbgbs <laughs> it was duh. spooky yeah so, hopefully I... this one doesn't do the same <laughs> so a while ago i was trying to find like fun co-op couch games or not it doesn't necessarily have to be like a couch co-op but any kind of multiplayer game that we can play yeah. together and so I found like TikToks and this is one on the list and I bought like a bunch of them that were like on sale. So if you guys have other suggestions that you would like to see a stream like co-op, um, let us know and I'll write them down. I've got my handy dandy planner next to me, of course, <laughs> as always. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about this. <laughs> TikTok suggested you play TikTok. <laughs> I think so. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> TikTok a tale for two. That's the name of the game today. <laughs> so, shall we get started? We shall. Let's, let's farewell. Farewell, Spencer. <laughs> okay, you'll be able to hear Spencer. Um, Hello. Oh my gosh, that was so loud. <laughs> so yeah, you'll be able to hear them. You just won't see them. I wish you could, they could see your screen. Is there any sort of way that we can like show I your face or screen? Like how do people do that? Uh, I don't know. I almost feel like to do it effectively, you would have to have a whole nother computer that's purely dedicated to running the stream. And then we'd have to have like our computers captured into that computer and then someone to like moderate our stream and switch screens for us. That I don't there's probably an easier way. But like, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know if there's like an easy way to get multiple perspectives from different computers all on the same stream. So. Oh, that would be so cool. I just, I'm not a techie gal. <laughs> so. Yeah, I can look into it, see if there's like some OBS plugin that lets you accept input wirelessly from another computer and it'll just like kind of feed naturally into your stream. Yeah. If not, maybe I should get into computer science and coding and make it myself. 
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, oh, also, welcome, Elizabeth. This is their first stream, too. We got a lot of first-timers in the house. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Okay, are you ready? Do you have it loaded up, Spencer? Yep. Okay, guys, okay. I assume you want to be player one. I'm always, I'm always player one. Are you kidding me? I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'll be player two. Okay, sure let me... Team number is player one. Okay, I'll be a player one. Okay, I'm gonna wait to press start playing. Um, how do we connect? I, I clicked start playing because I wanted to see. But Oops. haven't found anything yet. Sorry, I gotta. There we go. Okay. All right, start playing. Yeah, the music is kind of spooky lish. <laughs> Today, you and your friend received two strange packages. Each contained an old clock. Okay. Ooh. Dear player one, this clock is part of a game, a gift I made for my sister to have a fighting chance. Play with a friend and tell each other what you read and see. If you find my sister, tell her I miss her. Amelie. Wait, are you seeing the same thing right now? Yeah, I think I, this makes sense now. There's no like internet connectivity. You just click player one and player two. Oh, okay. Then, like, does that make sense? Since the game just naturally runs at its mm -hmm. own pace ahead of that then also, we just play it together but it's not like connected together if that makes sense do you notice that it's this like the exact date right now in the game as it is oh, right now it is shoot I okay did not notice that. that's kind of fun so i'm scrolling down i see a package from denmark and it looks like there's a newspaper and i can't see what it says exactly but it looks like another disappearance strikes Oh, I have the other half of that newspaper then. It's another disappearance strikes our village. Oof. From okay. Tuesday, March 14th, 1937. Oh. Okay, and then I'm looking at a watch. What is it called? Like a pocket clock? A pocket watch? From yeah. Amelie. It says 1915. And I opened it and I can like turn the... I can move the time. Do you have that too? Yeah. Also, can you hear like people talking in the background? No. Ooh, okay, wait, part of, I can hear people talking in the background. Um, but part of my newspaper says, Amelie told us that she, and it's like, I can't take the newspaper out, but at the bottom it says 10.30, so I'm gonna move my clock to 10.30 and see what happens. Wait. Can I change the date on my digital clock? Oh no, is that 10.30? Wait, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Is that 10.30? I'm confused. Oh, wait, um... <laughs> Already stuck on the first puzzle. Because <laughs> this is 11, we, oh, 12. have to set it to 10.30? Probably. Okay. 9.30. I'll read you my newspaper part that I can see. It says something, Mark D. Hansen, I assume that's the writer, it says something, youngest member of the blank clockmaker family was reported missing. Amelie told us she blank her at 1030. So, what do you see? On the newspaper? Yeah. It says, underneath, it says, understandably distressed, she later corrected her statement and said it must have been an hour and a half later. If you have seen anything unusual, please contact us. So is it oh, so 12? It midnight? 12? Let's try it. Oh, I started winding up my watch on 12 and it did a thing. Mine didn't do anything. Oh, wait, it's doing a thing. Yeah, it's doing a thing. Yeah. It's doing a thing. Ambiance audios. Chapter one. This is a copy I made of the world that Lark and I used to know. I think that's Lark. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wait, was that is that the text you have on screen? Mm-hmm. Underneath chapter one? Yeah, what do you have? Oh, mine's different. Mine says Lark Lark. Lark went missing in nineteen thirty seven, but it all started years before. 
Okay, so I think I just went back in time to 1927. Oh. Let me make sure I'm, I'm watching the stream. Yeah, it was 1927. Okay, so I am at what looks like to be a bus stop. But it, maybe it's a train stop, actually. I'm like, ooh, it's kind of spooky. I'm getting the chills. So it's like in the woods. I also see the picture from the newspaper of Raven's Clocks. And off in the far distance, like I'm moving the screen, there's a bunch of lanterns yeah. leading to. Or do you see this too? Leading to a well. Yeah. Yeah. And then a house in the next one. Oh, oh, you can you can proceed to those areas. Okay, what should we do first? Oh, that's uh, that is kind of spooky. I clicked on the well, and it just puts you like in a ladder, like you're going down the well. I didn't want to go down just yet. So, I don't know. Should we go so down we the well? So we have the same things, right? Wait, let's go back to the bus stop or the train stop or whatever. And let's look at this little screen. It looks like a grid with a train in the bottom left. In, no, I think I think there's something you should definitely do on stream. Okay. So you, you should go into the house <sighs> and and do that thing. Mainly because I don't first want to do, it. do the house first. Yeah, I don't know what there is to do with the train. Okay, I'm going in the house. Okay, so we're missing a button for the train. I so. walked in the house and it looks like a train model with a light bulb. I'm gonna press the light bulb. Okay. Dang it! You have a <gasps> oh different gosh. thing than I do. I turned it on. Okay, so a moth flew to the light bulb and it gave me a bunch of words. It says "lark," "hope," "like," "present." It three clockwise, anti-clockwise, then turning clockwise and not go. Like, it's like scrambled. Man, your house thing's different than mine. I don't want to do this. I have a freaking jack in the box. I oh! hate them. <laughs> I wish I could see your I screen don't want to do so it. bad. You have to. I'm trying to go as fast as I can and not looking at my screen. You have to look. You have to give me the clues. Three clockwise, anti-clockwise, then turning clockwise, and not go. Oh. One. The two. clockwise instructions are probably, because I was just spinning it clockwise, and it's not doing anything. I, th I think my clockwise <gasps> instructions are, so what is it? Okay. What does it oh, start I, with? Oh, well, I got it. It says, Lark, I hope you like your present. Turn it anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise. Three yeah. times, clockwise twice, and then anti-clockwise twice, then keep turning it clockwise. Oh, and do not let go. You got it? Turn it clockwise three times. <laughs> oh, I did there. a thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. it. It popped out, it was freaky. I got, I got a half a ticket of a diagram that goes to the train thing. Okay, but so it's only half of it. Let's go so, to the other places then. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. Did it get? Why did, did it... I have to get the jack of the box? Did it that go? That would have been way better for you to have. Did it go on the the grid then? Do you see it on there? No. What do you mean? Did what go on the grid? Well, you said you saw like part of the grid, but not all of it. Yeah. So did it end up on the grid? Like, can you see it now? What? So when you go back to the train station, there's like a yeah. bench and then like a a grid. Did that part go on the grid so it revealed more? No. Oh, you have to like memorize the part, it? The part stays in the house. You have to remember it. Okay. You can't like pick the items up in this game. Well, would you rather go to the well or Raven's Clocks? And we can't even do the part of the grid that I have because we're missing the button to go right and the diagram goes right uh let's try raven's clocks you really don't oh, want to go to the opening... whale oh it says opening hours three to nine so we can't well mine does not say that mine has what i presume to be like an olden day radio i might be wrong <laughs> I can't get into Oh, oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm getting letters. I'm getting letters. It's kind of going crazy. 
on screen. It says, last month, the police started getting several reports of pets going. Okay. Last month, the police started getting several reports of pets going. The oldest raven daughter, Amelie, is a brilliant clockmaker. Oh my gosh! Brilliant clockmaker and inventor. Her footsteps... Dot, dot, dot. The Raven family moved here a month ago and have worked day and night. Another pet has been stolen during the night. This time it was Mrs. Jensen's. A strange occurrence has shook our village. Droves of lifeless... Dot, dot, dot. No more walking for five miles to get your letters. It's now March and the dot dot dot. And then the last one says, An unusual white raven seems attached to the youngest member of the dot dot dot. Do you not get this radio thing? Inside no, the house? I, I can't even go inside the house. Oh, there's a lot of clocks in here. Let me just tell you. And they're kind of broken. You can't even go in the house? Let's do the well. I can't oh, go wait, in the I'm house. Oh wait, I'm in the attic. I'm in the attic. There's... If I try clicking on the house, it just gives me a sign that says opening hours 3 to 9. Hmm. And... Why can I go in the house? I don't have that. For me, the time is 11. It's 11 right now. Well, I also see a board. It says January 1927, Sunday, and... Oh, I can move the dates. Also, there is a white raven by the train station. Oh, there's a white... Well, there was a yeah. white claw. Oh, I can turn the dial on this little, little thing. Okay, I'm gonna follow it. It's kind of spooky. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Um, let's go to the well. How does that sound? Oh wait. Hey. Um, currently it is uh nine nine p.m. I think. Is the the same for you? For me, it's the clock just changed. Now it's midnight for me. Hmm. For me, it's nine. Okay, I'm gonna go to the well. You probably have to go too. Yeah. I'm going. I'm going down. What's in the well? What's in? Ooh, okay, at the bottom of my well, it's like a box, and there's, a, yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, there's like six rectangles with different, like, balloon-shaped shapes, I guess, all different shades. Yeah. You see the same thing? So I got, like, yeah. some, like... Are the buttons you have the top left and right and the bottom middle? Yeah. Okay, so I have the other buttons you have. I assume we're supposed to find a diagram that tells us which ones to what press. All the buttons are, and then I have to press half of them. You have to press half of them. So I don't even know if we can do this right now. What can Maybe we it is do? The Ravens clocks things right now. I think there's got to be something. Like I think you have to go inside Ravens clocks, and I think there's got to be something I can do from outside here to okay. help. Okay, I'm going in. Like, you can't move your screen at all? I cannot go to the Raven's Clocks. If I try clicking anywhere on the Raven's Clocks building, it gives me a sign on my screen that says opening hours 3 to 9, as in they're closed, because for me it's midnight right now. Right now my clocks inside say 7... wait... 45-ish? It, it, they're moving, so I think it's 7.45-ish. 
And I don't think I can change them. But there is a scroll and I don't know what to do with it. And I do have a date. Do you have like, oh wait, I could change the month. I could change the month oh. and the day. Do you have like a specific day I should change it to? I don't, but now the train clock says that it's one o'clock now. I don't know why the train clock keeps moving. Um, we might be timed. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, this is so stressful. I'm gonna see if there's any clues with this thing again. Last month, the police started getting several reports of pets going. The old stream daughters, we're like clockmaker inventor. My family moved here a month ago and have worked a day and night. So it sounds like pets are going missing. Oh, whoa. Oh no, I'm changing the train clock. How are you changing? I don't know how. So you gotta change the oh. clock so that you can get in the house. Yeah. Then we're going from miles. It's now March. Thing, my outside spinny thing is a... Like, I'm on a clock right now. So if I spin counterclockwise in circles, it turns the time backwards. This is making me actually dizzy. I'm gonna change this to March. Okay. So now it's... Definitely before 9 a.m. So now I can go in Raven's clocks. So now I can help you. Okay, I have a radio. I do too! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's read the radio. I think mine starts off. Mine said, okay, go to your first one. Mine okay. says, last month the police started getting several reports of pets going. What's the rest of the sentence? Uh, pets. Of pets going? Yeah. I don't know how this. It says, pets going are usually followed by the ticking and scuttling of one of her creations. Huh? Oh wait, maybe that's- wait, did you just barely go past 525? Oh, I didn't know there's a one before the 82. Okay, pets going missing, mostly old cats and dogs. Let's hope they are all found soon. Okay, and then 8.20 right before, mine says, The oldest raven daughter, Amelie, is a brilliant clockmaker and inventor. Her footsteps... ...are usually followed by the ticking and scuttling of one of her creations. Okay... The raven family moved here a month ago and have worked day and night. Did I miss one? It's between 8.20 okay. and... Okay. To be able to open their clock shop today, the 18th. Wait. Okay, wait, that's very important. The 18th, we gotta remember that. Yep. Okay, next is... Another pet has been stolen during the night. This time it was Mrs. Jensen's. We old farm dog. Remember to lock your doors until this thief has been caught. A strange occurrence has shook our village. Droves of lifeless... Birds have been found scattered across the forest floor. No more walking for five miles to get your letters. It's now March and the... Construction of our very own post office will start at the end of the month. So mm -hmm. currently we're in March. March and 18th. That's An unusual right, white raven seems attached to the youngest member of the... Raven family. Let's hope for her sake that it will not go missing like those other pets. Okay, so March 18th, we think? Oh, I have clocks too. I've been here. Yeah. My clocks are... Oh, oh, I did something! I did a thing! I did a thing! My okay. clocks are like stuck um yeah they do? are stuck you gotta go up to the top of the roof that's how i found the date so i opened up the whatever this was the calendar box and i got another piece of the grid so i have it looks like a stub ticket 
and I yeah. got the right half. I have the right okay. half. And then there's a few books in here. There's Gulliver, Gulliver's Travels, Watchmaking, Longitude, and The Night Nightingale. There's also like a few tools in here, but nothing I can pick up. Oh, maybe. And what do you have? What do you see? In my attic, it's all I have is two white feathers that I can not really interact with. And then a newspaper that says News Wednesday Edition Today Grand Opening of Clock Shop. And a picture of Raven's Clocks. See, I have just like this paper thing I can't do anything with. Okay. All right, wait. Do you have the left half of the stub? The ticket? Yeah. Problem is, is we can't work out that grid yet because the train station thing is missing a button. It's missing a button? It's missing a button. At least on my screen, it's missing a button. What do you, like what buttons do you have on your screen for it? I don't know. I think it is missing a button. But which button? Okay, let me look. I gotta leave the house. It's missing the one next to reset on the left. Okay. That's so I have left and then right's missing and I have up and down. Same. But on my ticket stub, we're going to need to go right. So we have to find that button. We need to find the, yeah, we need to find the button. I'm willing to bet the, we have to do something with the well. The right button is probably what's in the box at the bottom of the well, but how do we know what to set the well to? I don't know. You don't have anything in Raven's Clocks you can do? Not that I can really see. On Raven's Clocks, it just shows that I have like four clocks above the radio and the door that are stuck oh. between eight and nine. Well, like the second the minute hand stuck between eight and nine it's like stuck on like 745 yeah same well wait 745 i think mine's at six mine's at 645 are you sure it's 745 that's what mine is mine's 645 if i go back outside and reverse myself another hour does the clocks inside like you can change the time to that? yeah okay yeah the clocks inside correspond yeah so you change you can change the time i don't think so i don't think i can you go you go outside and you spin in circles how do you spin in a circle enter. like just look around in a circle like if you're in outside in the center if you look center. at the four locations spinning around counterclockwise, it turns the clock backwards. You can tell by the train clock. Like if you go out of Raven's Clocks, like go to yeah. where you started, <gasps> and I think you're... you're in the spot where you can see, like you can switch between the train thing, Raven's you're Clocks, right. you're right. well, or the house. You can change the time. Someone said go back up to the attic where you found the club and click on the watchmaker book. I thought I clicked on all the books, but nothing happened. Oh, now I can't get back in because it said opening hours three to nine. Yeah, so now you just got to move your time back forward. Oh, that's so annoying. The opening time. Okay, so I'm clicking on the watchmaking book, but nothing's happening. I don't think I can interact with these things. Okay, what should we do? Was there anything in the radio that mentioned a time of day? There wasn't, right? It was just March 18th and... Or, like, the 18th and March. I think so. Yeah, like, where are we gonna find those symbols? Uh, 
I don't know. Hmm. Was there anything in the house that we missed? I don't think so. I don't see anything. Yeah, I can't move anything. Okay, well, let's... I'm gonna go back in the well and see what I find. This is a crazy game. Okay, yeah, I have... Uh, so, do you have the same symbols? Like, the left one looks like an empty balloon. The middle one looks like an empty balloon. The right one looks like a shaded balloon. Bottom right is shaded balloon. Bottom middle is a triangle balloon. And bottom left is a square balloon. <laughs> uh, well... You can change them with the buttons, but yes, it's basically just oh. a mix of unshaded and shaded triangles, circles, and squares attached to a line. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you can change the top, middle, and the bottom left and right? Yeah. Oh, okay, wait, what is your, what is your top right? Oh, this makes sense. My top right is an unshaded triangle. Okay. What is your top left? It's a shaded triangle. Okay, what is your bottom middle? Bottom middle is a unshaded square. How did we not think of this? I like, don't know. Since the games don't connect, if you change yeah. the ones that you can change your buttons on, then like I wouldn't be able to see it. So... Okay, so my thinking. bottom left is a unshaded square. Okay. Bottom Not middle. Bottom right is a shaded circle. Okay. And top middle is a unshaded circle. Okay, I'm gonna press the button. Yep. Oh! Press the button. Okay. Oh, I got the piece. Yep. Yes. Me too. Okay, oh, okay, we gotta put it back, but we also gotta remember, we gotta memorize our stub, our ticket stubs. Yeah. So, I think mine goes up to how do you, right. How do you put three. your, oh, there we go. Just click on it and it'll interact for you. Okay, up so to, yeah. Tell me, how do you, where do you go? Up to? Okay, so up to. Okay. And then right three. Okay. And then down two. And that's where it leads into yours. Okay, do you want me to repeat it for you? I think I got up two, right three, down two. Okay. Okay. Now I and have And then it looks like it goes off to the right. Yeah, let me well I have I have the other piece. Yeah. Okay, so mine says <sighs> um how far are you on the bottom from the end? From the end, uh, there are four empty spaces to the right of where the train is. Okay, so go right one. Okay. Up three. One, two, three. Right two. One, two. Up one. Up one. Right one. Okay, right one. don't press anything. Okay. You have to repeat this back to me. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me leave. Okay, so I go right one. How many up? Right one, up three. Okay. Right two. Up and then up right? Up one, up right. Cool, okay, something's happening. Yep, now there's a train there. Oh, you can go to the train. Where's the train? Oh. oh. Zoom oh. out, that's the end of the chapter. Chapter two, it was getting harder to find animals for my experiments. But I still knew one I can get access to easily. What does yours say? Mine says I told Lyric I was making her a clock, but she wasn't interested. She was too busy playing with her stupid bird. So am I the clock maker? 
like is mine from the perspective of the clock maybe? yeah you're probably amelie right and i'm Lair. probably maybe that's what it sounds like we're at 1932 oh attention close same... track out of service so it's the same area it's just a different time now for oh, me it's midnight except instead of a well there's a bugle shop so we have raven's clocks bugle shop and a house should we start with the house again sure okay let's go in the house this is kind of cool it's oh. like we're time traveling yeah this time i have six bells i see a fireplace Oh, I gotta go to the basement. I gotta go to the basement. Oh! Wait, I opened up the door, but I can't go to the basement. Huh? Oh, I'm going to the basement. I'm going to the basement. Oh, it's a little spooky loo. I have, I have like a door to the basement. I have six bells that are attached to different rooms of the house and a note that says, I left you something downstairs. It will be my greatest invention yet. Play our secret melody and I'll open the door, Amelie. Okay, I just got something that says, I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after... Wait, what does yours say? Mine says, I left you something downstairs. It will be my greatest invention yet. Play our secret melody and I will open the door from Amelie. Mine has a unfinished sentence. It just says, look after. Oh. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna explore in here and see what I find. So I have to play a secret melody. Oh! It Look after it really well, like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. We work on this iteration for one year now in the study. Wait, are you in a study? I have a bell that says study, but not something that says pantry. I like you to keep it safe for me. Look after it really well, like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. Hmm. Do I just have to ring the bells yeah. according to like what room are mentioned in your notes? Well, I got study and I got pantry. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 wait. In five years when, oh my gosh. Okay, wait, everything got rearranged. Let me repeat it one more time. I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after it really well like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. In five years when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. What is going on? <laughs> Iteration? What does she mean, iteration? I don't know. What kind of experiment Wait. is going on here? Read the whole thing again. I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after it really well, like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. This has got to be some sort of clue for something. Like, there's a lot of time things going on, like a year, five years. Oh, I was locations. just wondering, because the thing mentions a lot about locations, and my thing inside the house, I just have a door, which I assume is the door to the basement. I have a rack of six bells, and each bell is labeled kitchen, front door, study, music room, office, dining hall. So you probably have to ring it according to... <gasps> Wait. Well, that's what I tried, but I didn't catch anything for front door or music room. Do you have anything for pantry and dinner table? I have kitchen and dining hall. Okay, so you probably need to ring it. Ring the bell for study once. Ring pantry twice or wherever, the kitchen twice. And ring dinner table five times. Oh, that was right. Yeah, yeah. let's go! So smartly. Okay, what do you see I now? I want to go in the basement. You're in the basement too. No, I can't go. You in gotta the basement. scroll down. You gotta scroll down. Oh, oh. Okay, I see. 
a rope from the ceiling and a barrel with a hole on mm -hmm. it. Yep, take it out. Take the cork out and pull down the rope. Do you have a salamander? I'm breaking the barrel. Oh, you're breaking the barrel? I, uh, I got a pocket watch. Oh. There was there was no cork. There's just a hole in the barrel. Oh, because I took the cork out. Okay, I just did got I just beat up the barrel and I get a pocket watch. Okay, what about the rope? Uh it's still attached to the ceiling and the barrel. Oh you so you're like the... you're probably seeing what I left behind. Like is there a salamander in the cage? What cage? I don't see a cage. Okay, maybe that's gone. So you just got a clock? That's it. Yeah. Okay, I think we I think we've done everything here, so let's go to a different place. Should we do a Shingwell now? Oh, bugle, bugle. Let's do bugle. Ay ay ay. Okay. Um. So I went into bugle, and you wouldn't even believe what I'm seeing right now. It's insane. Um, so it looks like a compass, right? And there's three, yeah. six, nine, twelve compasses oh, with oh. different numbers. I think I think my pocket watch has something to do with this, because I was looking at the pocket watch that fell out the barrel, and it's giving me a sequence of numbers. Oh, perfect. Okay, what's the sequence? Uh, I'm gonna write it down. Because I think, well, no, say it out loud because I, I think that's the order I press the buttons in. Okay, ready? Right now. 12, 3. Oh my gosh, why 12, is it so fast? 12, 12, 3, 6. Okay, that's I don't it. have. That's why I was gonna write it down. I don't have any of those numbers. Oh, but I can change. I can change things. Huh? Wait, are you seeing the same screen as I am? I'm not in the bugle shop. I'm still in the house. Oh, go to the bugle shop. Uh, I don't think. Oh, is the I think the bugle shop's the post office. Okay. They just have like a mailbox looking thing that says Post Brevkasi, <laughs> Brevkas, and I can't. Any numbers, really symbols, interact. nothing. Just a post office box and a bunch of boxes and papers that I can't interact with. Hmm. Because I have like 12 compass looking thingies and I can move like the dials around and there's like corresponding numbers and buttons, but like I don't know what to do. Well, so my. For the compasses, how many compasses do you 12. have? 12. 12 compasses mm -hmm. oh because my pocket watch from the house like it's you know a watch but like on a compass 12 could correspond with north and uh three could correspond with east and six could correspond with south but the compass sequence or the watch sequence only gave me seven numbers like seven ticks well, my compass has four arms, like, it's not like a normal compass where there's like one little arm that moves around to point north. Mine has four of those. Do they point all directions? Yeah, northeast, they point northeast, south, and west, and I can move them. And then they're, they're all even numbers, and they all go, so I have 14, 16, 18, 24, 26, 28. 34, 36, 38, 44, 46, 48. And then have buttons with them. So I think I need to press specific things and have the dials in certain ways. This is so complicated. Heck. Should That's we go weird. to the other shop first? This one looks a little too complicated right now. We might need to yeah, get more clues. Check out Ravens. Okay, I need to move back the time so I can get in the shop. Uh, sorry everyone watching, because it's gonna get so dizzy for a second as I, uh, oh. time travel. Oh, I got a key. How'd you get a key? 
Are you in the shop? Yeah, I got a key and a letter. Oh, wait. I can put the letter in the mail in my mailbox in the post office. I got a letter that says, do not remove these tools. I will work when the clock shop is closed, Amelie. And ah, there's a white okay. ribbon. I got, I, I put my letter in the post office box and I got a slip that said post box number 28, Northwest, West, Southeast, <gasps> East, wait. or Southwest, East. Wait, 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 stop. Okay, wait, let me go back. This is exactly what I needed. Okay, wait. Post office box number 28? 28. Okay, what are the things? Northwest. Okay. West. Okay. Southwest. Okay. East. <gasps> ooh, I opened it. It's from Amelie Raven. And, ooh, it's from Denmark, I think. Let's open oh, it so up. Oh, so sent, I sent you the letter. Mm -hmm, and I got a key. It's from Lark Raven. It says, here, wait, so am I Amelie and you're Lark? I don't know what's That's going what on it here. Looks I thought I like. was Lark. Okay, so it says, here's your key to the clock shop only. When you're done working, can you help me look for my raven? Oh, well, I, I found the raven. It's in the clock shop. <laughs> Do you have any more post office boxes? That, that was the only thing Okay. I got. So I'm gonna go back and the... But I do have a key right now and I have no idea what it's to. I also have a key. So I'm in the clock shop and it says Apprentice apprenticeship. Dear Amelie, I'm pleased to inform you that you have been chosen as my new apprentice. Your experiments with time extractions are truly groundbreaking. I agree that our short lifespan is deeply unfair, especially for people like us who keep improving the world, pushing it forward. I'm looking forward to helping you with your experiment in Switzerland. Yours sincerely, Clarissa Schar, Master Watchmaker. Okay. New character. So, when you go in the clock shop, what do you see? Uh, I already so like in the clock shop was where that letter came from and oh. the key so like I got a key and then I mailed you the other key with the letter but it doesn't look like there's anything else I can do in the clock shop there's a box in here that says Lark on it but th 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 I, th I don't know how to open it doesn't look like the key goes to it I also have a lantern but I can't do anything with the lantern did you go into the post office shop already? Yeah, that's where I gave you, that's where I sent you the letter and I gave you the slip of what to put in to receive the letter. Okay, so we're both in Raven's Clock, so there's nothing you can do. I don't think, currently, that I don't think there's anything I can do in Raven's Clocks or the post office. I'm gonna see if my key goes to anything inside the house. Hmm. Sus. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know what there is to do in the house. I think I've done everything in the house that you need to do. I'm like tapping everything. <laughs> Um, I don't know if there's anything I can do on my end. I'm wondering if... So I had a pocket watch that gives me a sequence of times, so I'm wondering if I have to set my time outside to those times and do something at each of them to proceed. Okay. That's all I can think of right now, so I'm gonna start... I'm gonna put my clock back to 12 and see what happens. Cause you Spinning have... around to get the clock <laughs> on... so dizzying! Seriously makes me dizzy. Because you have a clock and a key, and I have just a key. Yeah. Hmm. Change the time to when the shop is closed. You can't use the key until you change the time on the clock. Put the key in the ravens oh. now. Yeah, so I went back to 12. Okay. Oh, because I'm now, pretending I'm 
Uh, now I have two books in the shop. Okay. So, I gotta make sure the clock shop is closed. Oh yeah. my gosh, I'm sorry everyone, we're gonna get dizzy! <laughs> oh my gosh. Wee! Oh my, this is so dizzying. Oh, okay, 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 it's closed, You're it's closed. You're gonna have an apparatus that has four or maybe five places a stone can go, and I have to tell you what stones are what and the order. <laughs> yes, so I have a green marble, a red marble, a clear, and a brown, and then a missing one. Okay, so the clear marble is quartz. The brown marble is a tiger's eye. Mm -hmm. What else did you have? Red and green. The red is ruby and the green is malachite. You ready? I guess. The tiger's eye, the brown one, should be left of the quartz. The oh, malachite so cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the ruby. Wait, what? And the ruby must not be directly next to the tiger's eye. Okay. <laughs> brown is left of white. Okay, what's next? Uh. Yes, brown is left of white. The green cannot be to the far sides or next to the ruby, to red. And ruby cannot be directly next to brown. So, brown to left of clear. Green can't be on the ends or next to red. And red can't be next to brown. Okay, so I have brown, green, white, red. Does that work? Uh brown green the brown has to be to the left of the white immediately to the left and of the green white, can't be on the edge Very green can't be on the edges okay so i have brown white green red that didn't do anything i have a dial i need to change to oh uh the the green can't go next to the red either does brown need to be to the left, immediate left of white, or can it just be to the left of white in general? It doesn't say directly to the left, so maybe it just has to be left in general. Because I also have, like, things I need to turn to. Like, I have... Oh, uh, okay, a... that's my next page. So, my next page says, uh, point the precision point towards the malachite. Which one is that? The green. Oh my gosh, this raven is cancelled. Okay. Did a lid close? Yeah, uh, nothing's happened. <laughs> oh, once everything is set for accuracy, wind the clock up by turning the top right gear clockwise twice. Okay. And then it says, once the lid is closed, test the experiment by setting the clock to 12. This should initiate the extraction process. Once the lid is closed, set to 12. Well, what about the little gear on the left? What do you want me to do with that? Uh, it doesn't say anything about a gear on the left. Hmm. If nothing happened, I assume the sequence might not be correct. I have brown, What's green, your brown, green, white, red. Red. I feel like that should work if white doesn't have to be directly to the left of, of brown. Because or... if I move white to the green spot, then green's gonna be next to red, and green has to be in the center. And yeah, so it's either where green is right now or where white is right now, and that's where green would go. So green be here. Okay, this bird, can you please, please stop, bird? It's so annoying. And your your current sequence is brown, green, green white, white red. red. Yeah.
Yes. Well, couldn't you do? It's in a like, diamond shape. Reverse it. Yeah, I see the shape on mine. Could it be red? Oh, never mind. There's not supposed to be any on the bottom, right? I assume. No, I think it's just the four. And then, yeah, do you see the pit whole picture of my clock? Like, there's the diamond, there's like a... Uh, I don't see the whole picture, I only see the diagram of what the marbles look like. Oh. So, uh, there's, so it's a clock, right? A pocket watch, you open it up, there's like the diamond shape at the top with the marbles. Then below that, there is like a lifeguard ring, and every other color is a different shade of gray, but there's only two shades of gray, light gray, brown, or dark gray. And in the center of that is a clock arm that I can move, and that's the dial that I use to match up to the green marble. Then to the right um, is two big gears that like are attached that I can move, and then to the left is a different kind of gear that I can move. And then I have an annoying raven keep pressing my watch. Yeah, all I have is the diamond diagram, and then it says, uh, try this sequence of gemstones. The tiger's eye should be to the left of the core. It's Malachi. It cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the ruby. Ruby must not be directly to tiger's eye. And then on the next page, I have, for highest precision point, the balance needle towards... Uh, originally it says the third course but then there's a note that says point it instead towards the malachite which is the green stores time better when everything is set for optimal accuracy wind the clock up by turning the top right gear clockwise twice once the lid has closed test the experiment by setting the clock to 12. that's all i have oh wait it's working it's working <laughs> it's working wait set it to 12. yeah i think i just had to keep moving it Okay, will you stop, Raven? Okay, it did something, it did something! It did something! It's kind of spooky. You didn't mean we had it, right? I'm sorry. Okay, so the watch is currently stuck. It keeps going back and forth between, oh my gosh, 12.15 and 12.30. It just keeps going, tapping back and forth between 12.15 and 12.30. And then it spins in a circle. Wait, oh wait, but it's in a sequence. It's in a sequence. It's doing a certain number of times. So, one, two, three on the 15, once on the 30, once on the 15, once, twice on the 30, once on the 15. And it keeps, and then it just repeats again. So that's probably a clue for something. Wait, how many numbers are in that sequence for you? 15, 15, 15, 30. 15, 30, 30, 15, and that's it. So three 15s, one 30, one 15, two 30s, and then one 15. <laughs> if that Does makes that any sense. Like... Sounds like a no, crazy that, person. That... No, that sounds similar to the sequence that my pocket watch does. I'm just trying to figure out what to do with them. Because I have a pocket watch in the basement of the house that goes 12, 3, or like, these are the numbers. So if you did it in minutes, it would be 0, 15, 0, 0, 0, 15, 30. Okay, yeah. That would be my sequence. So... So wait, what are your numbers? Now, if you did it in terms of minutes, it would be 0, 15, 0, 0, 0, 15, 30. Hmm. And we can't move those, right? I don't think so. What no. does that mean? Does that have to do... But then we have like, we have like 4, 14, because I think you have a sequence of the same length. I think yours is 7 numbers long too, so we have 14... One, Numbers? two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight, so have eight before numbers? it spins again, yeah. Yeah, so we have four, a sequence of 15. Five, seven, Wait, wait, eight. wait. Yeah. What if, what if that's the directions for the train thing? 
what if the oh. clock numbers are up down <gasps> like you know because then so mine would be genius. up right up 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 right down and then whatever your sequence is oh my gosh so do we think I'm yours goes first it. do we think yours goes first up i'm gonna try it up oh wait oops up right up 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 right down then what are your numbers okay one minute i'm gonna have a restart you only have, you only have 15 okay ready 30s, right 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 down right down down right that worked okay. <gasps> okay wait 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 wait. let me let me go back can you say it again for me yeah okay so what was it total so it's up right up 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 right down right 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 down right down down right you're such a genius for that oh my that's the freaking the clock was the freaking that train is direction so tricky okay wow. so chapter three says it was easier than i thought to extract time from animals now i had to learn how to do the same with people oh my goodness what does yours say I, I knew Larrick wouldn't want to harm the people who went into the clock so i decided to give them a way out why is these people so creepy? This just turned like magic-y and like mad scientist experiment style. 1937. Ooh, we're at the gate. This is the thumbnail. Okay, so I'm seeing a gate. I'm also seeing Raven's clocks. I'm seeing Bugle store again, and I'm seeing house. Where do you want to go first? What's interesting is it shows that, like, every new one we do, it shows the previous train track. Out of service. Out of order. Oh, I have a bunch of light bulbs that I can toggle. Same. So that that corresponds with oh, the gate. And, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So I have Weird. three on the left okay. and three on the right, and they toggle to the top three closest to the center of the gate. Yeah. Same. But you have... Yeah, you have six total light bulbs on each page, and that corresponds with the six on each, like, side of the circle. Oh my gosh, that's right. So we're gonna have to figure out that sequence to open the gate. I mean, house is a good place to start, right? Let's go to the house. Yeah. Our favorite. I have an old-fashioned telephone. I have an old-fashioned telephone with numbers. Do you have numbers that one, yeah. two, three, four? I I have the other end of numbers. I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus, and the tilde character. So I have one, two, three, Dude, um, asterisk, four, hashtag, zero. <laughs> Dude. Pound, I guess. What? Is your house, like, creaking? No, I just hear a lot of wind. I mean, I, yeah, it is creaking. Like it's creaking. That, it sounds like the door is like creaking open. Yeah. I hate it. It has creaking and wind. Oh, 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 oh. When you push the things, it it uh, it spits oh. words out. The telephone. Okay. So do we have to? Wait, how do I clear? Okay, you hit the you hit the speaker piece to clear it. So. How do we know what order to go in, though? No, let's go in the order of the numbers first. So I'll do one, two, and three, and four, okay? And then we'll do your five, six, seven, eight, or whatever. Wait, no, no, we need zero. We need zero. I don't think that's... I feel like that's too easy. I feel like it goes in a different order. Because I just spat out my six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and they don't line up to each other. So there's something else to... wait number two's first hey lark i'm so glad you finally number two is first finally uh, i think you have the next one probably finally okay i think it's seven hey lark uh, i'm so glad you finally decided to pick up the phone i've been leaving i've been leaving i think i might have the next one you so many messages wait i know you're still
Hey, Lark, I'm so glad you finally picked up the phone. I've been leaving you so many messages. Wait, I know you're still... Hang on, I'm gonna write down my sequence of numbers. Okay, uh, still... Angry, but don't hang up on me yet. I really want you to... Blink. I really want you to... Um... No, I really want you to know that before I left, I made you something to keep. Keep. Does that have a comma? No, just keep. Just keep. Okay. Uh, I think it's keep you company. I would have told you blank. I would have told you... Wait, there's nothing after I would have told you? Yeah. That's all it gives me. You company. I would, I would have, told have told you, told you earlier, you. but you... Never mind. Are you still... Oh, I saw that one. Uh... Sorry. I'm trying to... Um... Oh... Okay. Are you still there? I, uh, you know your raven that went missing the one blank. The one... Um... The one you named Cole? I made a new one for you, comma. Um, uh, it's upstairs, and it's even better. This one cannot die, period, and ends. So your next one should be a new sentence. Is it, though? This one cannot die. Yeah, and it's even better. This one cannot die, and there's a period, and then it ends. Do you not have any new ones that are like a new sentence? Do I have the next one? The only thing I have left I think is can no, it's not the same, but please just go see for. I don't think I have a new sentence. Mm. Oh, oh, <laughs> did you did you keep track of uh, all five things that were part of that sequence? No. Uh, I was supposed to write uh, down the numbers? Yeah, you have to put all five in and then click the telephone thing and it puts a ladder down to you. Okay, so I have, hey, Lark, I'm so glad you finally... What did you yeah, have? Well, it's it's not my numbers. It's yeah, just but what did you have next? You had. Okay, uh... Decided to pick up the phone. I've been leaving. I've been leaving you. Okay, that's an asterisk. So many messages. Wait, I know you're still... Angry, but don't hang up on me yet. I really want you to... Know that before I left, I made you something to keep. What's that? You company. I would have told you... Earlier, but you... Never mind. Are you still... Are you still there? Oh, are you still there? You know your raven that went missing, the one. The one you named Cole. I made a new one for you. Was that your last number? I think so. So I do okay, two. So you click the. Nothing happened. You put in all five and clicked the phone. Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so in my attic, I have a mechanical bird with three things underneath it that are like alphanumeric characters. Okay, and I have instructions on how to build the bird. Okay. Yeah, so I have the whole, fr I have three 
wheels that include the entire alphabet plus some extra special characters like the AE combined and O with a slash through it and A with a circle above it. Okay. That's it? That's it. Just the bird cage, a metal bird, and three wheels with letters on it underneath the bird cage. And the alphabet? Yeah. So I have five pictures hanging on the wall. One looks like a bird wing with a, uh, a wheel and a screw, four centimeters it looks like. I have a different one of two wheels that turn. The other one is a circle with dials and it has a bird head and some other tool looking thing. Another one looks like four different socket things you put uh, screws in, I guess, with different measurements. And the last one looks like what would be like how to piece it together the bird head. So can you take the bird apart? No. You can't do anything? I can't do anything to the bird. Because my bird cage is closed, I think. I think the three letters at the bottom of the bird cage are probably to open the cage. Hmm. But I need the three letters first. I mean, I have... I don't know. I'm so confused by my screen. <laughs> maybe we need to go somewhere else first. Yeah, maybe. Okay. I mean, oh, ah, I don't like this. What? Oh, oh, so I clicked on Raven's clocks and found out that you can go inside, uh, even though the light's not on, but it's very dark in here, but I can go down to the basement and I have like this weird wheel thing with nine buttons yep, that same. have different icons on it and an on and off switch. Yep, same. And a northeast southwest thing and what looks like At a TV screen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why does that one look like a voodoo you doll same, thing? You have the same thing I do. So I have like a gear, a ladder, a doll, a snake, a keyhole, a raven, time, uh, like an hourglass, a moth, and yeah. a wolf. Yeah, okay. Is that what you have too? Yeah. Oh! I clicked on and it oh. started doing stuff. Raven! I clicked on the Raven! Did you click on the Raven? No. Oh, what's going on? Why is this so spooky? Wait, maybe we have to... Oh, Wait, did you get Raven yeah. first? Did you get Raven first? So, yeah, so it's a sequence. There's a sequence of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, wait, is that as many buttons as there? So, do you have to push all the buttons in a sequence? But the thing is, is when it boots up, it scrambles the buttons besides the keyhole. I assume Ra it accepted Raven, and then do we have to just trial and error this? No, did you get anything after Raven? No. You just got Raven? I tried Raven Doll. You could trial and error it, literally. So it's Maybe not it's Raven supposed to be doll. wolf? No. Not, I tried wolf. It's not Raven moth. Raven. Raven gear? No. Nope. Why does it not give us the second one? Time? Well, I think. Well, the thing is, is it doesn't have the second one. You got lucky with pushing the Raven as the first one. No, it told me Raven. It told you Raven? Yeah, it said three, two, one, and a picture of the Raven popped up, so I pressed Raven. Oh. Wait, do you have a picture? Oh, oh, we're supposed to work together on this. Yeah. I. Oh, what picture okay. do you get? <laughs> I wasn't even looking at the screen. Okay, what? it's Raven Snake. How do you not snake. look at the screen? Raven Snake. What do you okay. have after? Well, snake? I'm restarting. Okay, Raven okay. Snake. I got two. What does two mean? What the heck does two mean? Oh, it's moth. Okay, what do you have? Raven snake moth. Five. One, two, three, four. Keyhole. Uh, uh, wolf plus two. So one, two is time. Okay, what's what's next? What do you get? Uh, nine up. So gear. 
Okay, I got eight, so that's ladder. What do you got? Ladder. Uh. Hurry. Ladder minus one. Doll? Oh, Doll. Uh, okay, stop. You have to restart. Oh, dang it. Okay, we gotta do it at the same time. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, click. All right, ready? Okay, Raven, okay. what's yours? Raven. Snake. Uh, moth. Moth. Keyhole. Snake minus one. So, time. Time. Uh, gear. Railway. Railway. Doll. Uh, moth. Slither? Oh, snake. There's more. There's yes. more. We're not done. Uh, wolf. Ah, <laughs> oh, mine turned off. Okay, wait, we gotta restart okay, again at the same time. We have time. to do. We have to go so fast. Sequences. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We gotta do it at the same time. <laughs> okay. Okay, ready? Are you ready? Yep. Ready, set, click. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, Raven. Snake. Uh, moth. E hole. Um, gear mine. Okay, time. Uh, gear. Railway. Uh, doll. Time plus moth. Um, oh shoot, snake. Um, wolf. Uh, oh shoot, bird. Oh, I didn't make it in time. Dang it! You mean uh, you mean crow? Raven. Raven. Yes, the bird. Just <laughs> one bird. Okay, ready? Let's do it again. Uh, it's the same sequence every time. No, it is. Mine's it been is. changing. It changes what it gives to you on the screen to give you clues, but it's been the same sequence. Oh. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, press. Three, two, okay. one. Raven. Snake. Yep, snake. Uh, moth. Moth. Keyhole. Um, time. Time. Gear. Uh, water. Uh, puppet. Bug. <laughs> um, snake. Uh, wolf. Raven. Uh, snake. Keyhole. Uh, ladder. No! <gasps> what? Oh! Uh. It said keyhole minus two. Wouldn't that be ladder? No. Because it's like it's a numerical pad, so like left to right, one, two, three, left, right, four, five, six, left, right, seven, eight, nine. So keyhole minus two is three, because the keyhole is five. So the keyhole minus two would have been the top right. Yeah, ladder. Your top right was ladder? Yeah. Mine's different than yours. I yeah, got the snake, gear, ladder, time, keyhole, doll, moth, wolf, bird. You said keyhole minus two? Yeah, and I put ladder and it was wrong. Let's do it again! Ready? Okay. Yep. And press. Three, two, one. Raven! Snake. Snake. Uh, wait, three, six. Okay, moth. <laughs> Keyhole. Time. Gear. Uh, ladder. Ladder. Puppet. Um, or even plus two is moth. Uh, snake. Um, roar. <laughs> uh, raven. <laughs> snake. <laughs> E-hole. Machine. Oh, so gear. Uh, snake. Uh, raven. Escape ladder. No. <laughs> What? Mine said the word escape, so I was like, ladder? Is it time? Maybe. It might be time. Is What's... the ladder a railroad track? Yeah, the ladder's a railroad track. I think it might be time. Uh... 
Restart! Three, two, one. Raven! Is the next one Snake? Yes, Raven, Snake, Moth, Moth Keyhole, Time. What's yours? Uh, or Gear. Railway. Railway. Puppet. Um, wait, three, four, eight. Moth. Uh, snake. Howl. <laughs> uh, one, two, bird, raven. Um, snake. Snake. Keyhole. Machine. <laughs> snake. Um, bird. Escape. So time. time. It's not time. What the heck is it's escape? That's probably the keyhole. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The keyhole. <sighs> Ready? Uh, Start again. Yeah. Three, two, yeah, one. I was memorized by the time. Okay, Raven, snake. What? Okay, moth. Raven, snake, moth. moth keyhole. Uh, time. Time. Gear. Um, uh, ladder. A uh, puppet. A uh, moth. Snake. Howl. A uh, raven. A uh, snake. E hole. Machine. Snake. Raven. Escape. Keyhole? Yeah, it's the freaking keyhole. Oh my gosh! And then we get a compass thing that says northwest. And mine says southeast. You says southeast? I have south and then southeast. Oh, you have two different ones? Yeah, I have two compasses. Well, okay, so I have a compass and then marked on the compass is a so an X on the south and then an X on the southeast. Oh, mine's both northeast. It's just two northeast. Oh, mine's south and southeast. Wait, which, which south is south? The inner circle or the outer circle? Uh, they're both on. They're, they're both marked same, but uh, above the TV, there's two dials. The first one points to south. The second one points to southeast. Wait, so on the screen you don't have a compass that has two different circles on it and an X on each circle? I do have a compass and the compass has two X's, but they look to be like in both of the space, like the same space, like of the same line, you know? They're on the same circle line? Yeah. Okay. And it's south and southeast. It's like the space before the last line. Do you have... Oh, is it... It's the space in between the lines? Yeah, it's the space in between the lines. Okay. But it kind of, like, overlays everything, really. But I'd say the center of the X is in the space between the two lines. Because mine is... It shows a northeast on the inner line and a northeast on the outer line. So if you went from like mm. out, like from inside out, it'd be northeast, and then your south and southeast in between the lines, and then northeast again on the outer line. Oh, uh, don't turn that thing off, because I think it's a generator, because now upstairs is lit up. Oh, oh wait, 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 we have the radio thing again, so let's do that. Yeah. So mine says, oh, I think you're first. Yeah, three patients from the nursing home in Hillbick have vanished in the middle of the night. Uh, the talented Amelie Raven has returned from Switzerland. She is determined to reopen and bring back glory to Raven's clocks. The police are looking for anyone who was in the vicinity of the nursing home yesterday evening. They are asking for assistance finding the missing missing patients. The post office's water damage is repaired and all post boxes are ready. To be used again. There is already a letter in the post box 34. Okay, good to know. Okay. 
I'm keeping like notes on my phone. Smart. Was 34 the end of the sentence? Yeah. Okay. The tragic nursing home incident has reopened old wounds in our village. We hope these disappearances won't remain unsolved like those five years ago. We have no news when train service will return to our village again. The station is now permanently closed. Larissa Shar, the generous benefactor of our new clock tower, died last month. At the opening ceremony next week, we will honor her memory. Okay, so we got five from five years ago, and this one says next week. Okay. Interesting. So now the gate thing is a clock tower instead of a train station. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, so creepy. Okay, should we Can go you check inside? Out the post box? Yeah, let's go to there. What was it? Thirty-four said. Oh. Thirty-four. I got like a Morse code looking thingamajogger. Oh, I, it looks like I'm the one with thirty-four. Oh, I, it's like the compass thing. So, do I set? Is it like from the other thing? Do I set one to? Northeast. Oh, it's probably what? Yeah, northeast. One to south, one to southeast, and two to northeast. Yeah. Yep. Okay. What'd you get? All right. Post office telegram. It feels like I was gone for such a long time, but for all the time I was away, it still felt short. Too short to finish my invention. Now we will have the longest lives ever, longer than you could imagine. When you've repeated this message, I will guide your way. What? What does that even mean? When you've repeated this message? So when I went in the post office, I have like a light bulb connecting to like a speaker box. And then I have like a little pressing button thing. It looks like, like a foot pedal kind of with a button I can press. When I press it, it pushes dots on the screen. And there's about three, five, there's like 10 before it restarts. I have nothing in here that would help that because all I have is just a wall of post boxes that I can scroll up and down from and I found post box 34 but what's interesting is these look like they go in even numbers if I scroll to the top of my wall post box number 16 is already open and there's nothing inside that's spooky Lou it is spooky so okay. what was in post box number 16? But yeah, I don't have anything to help a Morse coal or a Morse code sounded puzzle. Raven's clock sounds like it's done. Yeah. So now what? Did we already do the house or did we skip past it? Uh, we uh. Oh, did we skipped the house. Well, no, because at well, the top. Well, we didn't finish the bird. But I don't, I feel like I still haven't had like, how do I know what things to put in the bird cage for the bird? I don't know. Wait, you can put things in the bird cage? Letters in the bird cage, yes. Wait, like alphabet letters? Yeah, I have a code for three letters. Oh, I've got letters. <laughs> oh my gosh, I told you this. Okay, ready? <laughs> Yes. You're gonna put C. Can you put it in a certain number of times? Yeah. So well, you could put four. You, you could put four C's in there. Oh no! I only have three. Okay, so put a C. Spaces. Put okay. G. Put A. Mm. And I also have B and X. So maybe B? I only have three slots. Wait, you have three slots total? Total. I have one, two, three. So like it's a bird cage and at the base of the bird cage it looks like a combination lock that has three wheels that have letters on them. Try putting bag. Did bag do anything? No.
Because the only letters I see are four or are C, G, A, and B and X. I have a lot of maybe I mean this is kind of reaching, but maybe I and maybe H. <laughs> Why did you say something about four C's? Because it, there's a line and it says four C. <laughs> But it's like measurements. Huh. There's gotta be more clues than that here. We, I think we have everything. We just gotta figure out like what order it goes in. Yeah. So I def I have I just try ABC. ABC didn't do anything. Hmm. ABC G and X. Um. Uh, what does this even mean? Anyone in chat understand? <laughs> Please help. <sighs> so, Spencer's looking for three letters to put in the bird cage. And we can't see his screen, but this is what my screen looks like. And the only letters I currently see are G. which would be in the 10 o'clock position, C, B, X, and A. Uh, sorry, I says, I don't understand, Audrey, sorry. <laughs> Lana says, nope, I have skittle brain. <laughs> oh wait, you think G is a nine? Why did they make it so curly? That's probably a nine. Okay, so let's say we have A, B, and C, and X. So G is probably not it. Try X, C, B. Did that work? Uh, no. No. <laughs> X. Oh. <laughs> I think this puzzle is for big brains and big brains only. I don't understand. Would I be cheating if I can't look at your screen? I mean, technically it said you can look at each other's screens if you get stuck. We haven't had to have any help so far, though. We've been so good. So far. Um, Amy says- Your screen is just like a bunch of schematics for the bird. Mm-hmm. Someone said to try CXB. Are the letters attached to numbers? No, it's like measurements. So picture like the bird head. For like one of the lengths, it's C with like arrows going out, and then height is an X going up, and then we've got B over somewhere else. And... A yeah, B. Yeah, CXB did not work. Audrey, this is giving me a little to the left vibes. <laughs> yeah, now it, it is. It really is, honestly. <laughs> uh, Sandra wants you to try XCA. Did you try it? Yeah. Sorry, it takes me a while to put it in because working with the wheels takes a bit. XCA did not work. It's interesting Are because- Are the birds on the schematics in like different positions? Oh girl, there's like five papers I'm looking at right here. Paper one has a breakdown of a wing of the bird. Paper two has two gears that turn together. Paper three is like a compass, but half the compass is a bird head. The left is like some sort of 
Oh, it kind of looks like the thing I found in the post office, or, or yeah, the post office earlier, where you press it for the Morse code. Paper four has a breakdown of like, uh, how, many, how would you guys even describe this? It's like the things you put screws into, I guess, to hold them in place. And then paper five is a breakdown of the bird's head. And oh. there's like different measurements on each one, like an X with arrows, C with arrows. Um, there's some numbers. Strider says there's letters on the paper that aren't measurements. Like one has a, uh, yeah. Okay, so we have A period. We have a B period, but I can't find like a third one that has like a period with it. Like everything else has like either an attachment like for C or it has like C with like arrows going out of it or X with arrows. Ay, ay, ay. Um, oh, Elizabeth says it's a hinge, if that helps you. <laughs> the gear paper did not have a number on it at all. Yeah, this one has no numbers on it. Do you want to come look? <laughs> yeah. Try matching what Spencer sees under the cage to what you see on the posters and get the letters from each poster Spencer sees. Wait, is your alphabet in order? What do, you, what do you, mean? you mean? Is my, is my alphabet, alphabet in order? Like, this is what I'm saying right here. 4C. I guess that's a 9. <laughs> makes no I sense. I don't see how this helps. helps. What is, what is this, is this doing? doing? No, nothing does anything. I've already looked. Mm -hmm. But Amy's comment might be right. What do you, what do you mean, mean by try, try matching what Spencer sees, sees under, under the cage to what I see, what on, I see on the post? Because, because what, I what I see under the cage doesn't, doesn't look like, like any of this. Love that for us. Like, like what's, what's on my screen is completely different. So I'm, so not, I'm convinced not convinced that this is where the letters to my cage come, come from, from, to be honest. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if, if this is supposed to give you a clue on what to do with your Morse code, code thing in... Yeah, because this kind of looks like it. Yeah. yeah. And, I'm wondering, and I'm wondering if the Morse code, code is what gives you the letters for the bird cage. Could be. But like, what, how many numbers do I type in? Because I only have 10 dot pushes. I don't, I don't know. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight, 11, 12. So there's 24 dots. This is the first time that we're like seriously stuck. So let's keep looking for other stuff, because I don't think that's where my letters So stuck. I don't think that's it. But... <sighs> my brain is mushy. Okay, let's take a look-see at this paper again, everybody. Doesn't this thing look like our Morse code contraption I said earlier? Like, let me go back and I'll show you. And we got these light bulbs to worry about. So we found for us. Oh wait, we're done in here. Yeah, this little thing right here, does this not look like what we had earlier? I'm just gonna try a bunch of random things. It does not do anything. 
It's like a clock. <laughs> when you try so hard, but you don't succeed. Spencer, I think there's something missing on your end, because I literally can't I do so. anything. I'm, I'm trying to find it. I'm wondering if I can mess with the time outside to get the post office box to close and then reopen it. Do you have a key? No. Why? Wait, what do you, why? Because the post office telegram inside the box says when you've repeated this message, I'll guide your way. So I'm wondering if like, because you know how if you stand in the middle, you can like, it feels like you can manipulate time by spinning in circles. So I'm wondering if spinning in circles yeah. would like get the post office box to close up again and then I reopen it and then something will happen. Jake commented, is, what does Spencer have on his screen? I don't know, I can't see it. <laughs> he has a bird cage with letters and you need to put the letters in the bird cage. And you found nothing in that other 16 post office box? There's nothing there, no. That's so mysterious. That's so dramatic of them. <sighs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. What if we have to do the thing in the basement again? What if we switch it off? And do it <sighs> again? again? And Oops. it gives us a different result for a different post office box. <gasps> wait, because it said repeat it again, right? Yeah, because oh what if the gosh. message is in a different box? What if it's not in 36 again? Okay, you want to do it again? Maybe. So you can turn it off. Oh, if you turn it off, it still runs. So oh, but it goes again, it goes again. Back off. I've got Raven. Is it Raven Snake? Snake. Moth. Moth. Keyhole. Uh, time. time. I messed up. I think it's the same sequence though. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. Raven, snake, and snake. Oh, moth, time. Moth. Oh, oops, Keyhole. I messed up. Sorry, let's do it again. <laughs> okay, we have Raven. Raven, snake, snake, moth, moth, keyhole, keyhole. Time. Time. Gear. Ladder. Puppet. Moth. Uh. Snake. Cow. Raven. Snake. Keyhole. Gear. Snake. Uh, Raven. Keyhole. It's uh, the same result! You gave me the same result. Try coal for the bird cage! It's the name of the bird! That's what, what Strider said. Try coal for the bird cage. <sighs> K-O-L. K-O-L. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is so genius of you. Uh, did we miss that? Try Cole. Did you do it? Did you get it? Yep. Oh that my did gosh, it. you guys! Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. <gasps> okay, what happened? Okay, so the bird activates up now. Okay. Oh, it's giving me Morse code. <gasps> oh, perfect. Okay, perfect. This is what I need. I have to wait for it to end so we can start over. Okay, well, let me get to the thing. Okay. Okay, I'm there. <sighs> so, what are the terms for it? Like dot and line? Yeah. Okay. So dot line. Dot okay. line. Dot line. Line. Dot dot line. 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 Dot. Wait, that didn't work. I think we messed up. Can we start from the beginning again? 
Because I yeah. only have 10 are spaces. You... I only have 10 spaces. Are you ready? It's going to go kind of yep, fast. I'm ready. Okay. Dot. Line. Dot. Line. 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 Dot. Dot. Line. 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 Dot. Okay, so I only have 10 spaces and it stops, but you have- you're giving me 12 right now. Oh. So... Okay. I have 10 spaces before it disappears. Oh my, we're stuck again. So you see, you have 12 distinct things. You're not messing it up, right? I don't think so. I can take it down in note form. How do you know it when it restarts? There's just a ba blank? It just stops, yeah. So like I click on the bird and it starts its sequence and when it's done, it stops. Okay. Write it down, like draw it out. I am. I feel like we're getting closer. We were just really stuck on that raving thingy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, there's twelve, 12. things there for sure. It's dot line, dot line, 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 dot dot line, 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 dot. Do we have to break? Like, do we have to Google Morse code and break it up into letters? No, because I I gotta press the thing, so it's like Morse code. Yeah. Wait, what is that? Anyone that knows Morse code in the chat, what does that spell out? <laughs> Say it again, Spencer. It's dot line, dot line, 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 dot, dot, line, 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 dot. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Do it again. Dot. Say it again. Uh, dot line. Dot line line line. Dot dot line 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 dot. Hmm. Don't say I'm right to me, girl cop. How does the game have you input between dots and lines? I like, have to have hold a little pedal. Buttons? No, I hold a pedal to make a line. And I click on it to make a dot. And there's only 10 spaces before it disappears. And does it show you that you've made a dot versus a line? Yeah. Hmm. They want you to say it one more time for them. And you type it in chat? <laughs> Yeah, I'll type it in chat. Oh, oops. Oh, it keeps exiting my screen. What was it? Dot? Dot, line. Okay. Dot, line, line, line. Okay. Dot, dot, okay. line, 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 dot. Okay, I typed it in chat for everyone. Dot, line, dot, line, line. Wait, line, line, wait, dot, line, dot, line, 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 dot, dot, line, 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 dot. <laughs> huh? Oh. Only do 10 and see what happens. Dot, line, dot, line, 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 dot, dot, line, line. It just disappears. I don't know. Is it just, like, is only a part of it? Maybe. We might have to be done, though, because turn the stream ends in five minutes. <laughs> so we might have to finish this a different time. This is so yeah. fun. This is intriguing, though. This is, I know, I feel like we're finally Where getting would somewhere. We find... Where the heck would we find the other Morse code, though? I don't know. I feel like this has got to be it. Part of it. 
<laughs> Someone says Google ain't telling me, lol. <sighs> okay, wait, 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 we got... Currently, the bird is like all I can do right now. Does the information that the bird's eye lights up when it does a line help you at all? The bird's eye lights up? Yeah, when it does a long crow, it lights up. Um, one minute. Let me go back. Oh my gosh, I'm going to the wrong places. Okay, back to the house. When wait, so it does a long crow and the bird's eye lights up. Oh, because yeah. that's the Morse code. Yeah, like when I click on the bird, it it's a raven, so it makes a series of squawks and crows, and on the long ones, the eye of the raven lights up. But I assume it's just to give a visual cue to the long ones instead of just I don't know what the hell can I look at your morse code thing in the post sure. office what the, what the heck, heck? how do you how know, do you know it only gives you 10 spaces so I click dot line line whatever I don't remember your sequence you gave me 12 and this is 10, and then it disappears. And I hear boop, 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 boop. And I can click other things, but it doesn't do anything. So That's weird. So weird. Saving Saving Jake and I says line. you need spaces between each dot line somewhere to make words. Yeah, but yeah, they, but don't, they don't. They don't. They like, like. There's not there's a way, not a way to, to make the space easier. Here. I think you need to turn your headset off when you come in here. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're gonna have to marinate on this one and just do it next time. I the stream is gonna end. Okay, guys, we're gonna need we're gonna need to think on this one. All right. Can you check the building with the gate and click on it in Morse code? It has something to do with it. The gate. This? The clock tower gate? Because this corresponds with the lights. Yeah. But I don't think we've gone there. I think that's the last step. Probably. Does it pause longer at some spots? That's what Jake's asking. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> Because if it pauses longer at some spots, then that's not a line. That's just a space. Well, the pauses aren't the lines. And the the the, the triple lines are like... I assume the line is whenever the bird's eye lights up and the triple lines are three bird eye lights up in a row. I don't know, girly pop. This is so good. I wish I could see your screen. All right, guys. I think we are going to have to end on this cliffhanger for now. I don't know how much longer this game goes. Um, but I feel like we're at a pretty good spot. We need to learn Morse code. <laughs> um, and... I'm surprised on how well we did, though. Like, usually with these kind of puzzles, I'm so lost. And I feel like we have only really gotten lost this round.
So thank you guys for helping us in chat, especially with Cole the bird's name. I can't believe we forgot about that. Maybe there's like clues in the past chapters that we missed. I don't know. I don't know. Um, also, I have seen... Um, oh yeah, Sandra says Spencer looked at your screen, you should look at his. But then I, I have to... I have to walk away from here and then I'll be gone <laughs> I'll probably look at it after stream and I won't we won't do anything off stream like we'll wait for you guys right it saves our progress right Spencer I hope so I hope it saves our progress <laughs> that'd be so sad um but yeah we're definitely gonna do a part two of this maybe we should do that next well let's see let's see next week I know I usually don't do stream like the same game twice in a row, but maybe we should because we need to remember what we just did. So if this was fun for you, let me know. Thumbs it up and we'll do part two next week and fi hopefully finish it off. I don't know how long this game is once again, but it's been really fun. See, like these are the kind of multiplayer games that I just love so much. So anyways... <laughs> Check out today's video that we posted on the Audrey and Spencer channel. We tried the worst rated restaurants in our town, and it was pretty interesting. <laughs> it's actually really fun, and I kind of want to try the worst rated of some other things too. So if you have ideas, type in the comments of that video of what other worst rated things I should try. Um... Jordan is in town, so I am going to go over to my family's house and film with them. Jake and Ty, I got some comments asking if Jake and Ty are going live today, and I don't think they are. I think, I think well, we're going to be filming, so I think they're just probably going to miss it this week. But um, if they are live, like if they do go live, well, just make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know when they go live. Um, yeah. Anyways, this was so much fun. Thanks for joining us. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. A happy Friday. And we'll see you guys in the next one.